I just press W and she goes. She goes forwards indeed. Okay, so you want to build a flyer in vanilla. Let's lay this out in a decently large platform here. Okay, we have ourselves a little thing. So first things first, you're gonna need yourself a seat. Actually, let's keep the seat a bit more central. You want to attach the thrusters. Now, thrusters, you kind of want them to, for the thrusters to be a little bit above the central mass. So I like going three blocks like so, and then another three blocks, and then we'll just pile up a little bit. Right, and then, you kind of just want to build off to the side of them. This isn't a very efficient way of building. I'm just kind of making up as I go along. This, is just, this isn't a tutorial for like a specific flyer. It's just like how to make, you know, a good flyer in the game. And now this is where you're going to put your thrusters. So let's remove eight blocks here, that, and like that. Now that is really not the most efficient way of doing what I just did, but um, it makes it nice and easy to like, you know, follow along and just carve out little sections. So let's stick down our thrusters because we're going to need a few. Obviously it's creative, we don't have fuel consumption so you can use as many as, oh my god, as many as you want. Right, now we've got to set up our switches. So in Scrap Mechanic with flyers, you need to go into your options like so and then here on controls and then you have to scroll down and change these hotbar items to some suitable flight controls. So my uh, 1 through 4 are set to up, down, left and right and then 5 is F, 6 is C, 7 is R, 8 is X, 9 is backslash, I can hit that with my pinky, and then 10 is V, which I can hit with my index finger. And so they're all really nice and close to my WASD. Arrow keys obviously are for roll and pitch. We're gonna need ourselves some switches. So let's grab ourselves, actually, no buttons first. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, and then I my F and my C. F is right above C, which means I can use F as up and C as down. And then I can have a switch. This is gonna be R, and that's gonna be to turn the whole thing on. Then I can have another switch that's going to be x i can have the last three do whatever i want basically anyway yeah so now we have like you know some parts in and ready to go what we're going to do is we're going to straight off the bat hook up all of these switches and buttons so we're actually going to need some logic gates to go into this so let's um let's use some logic gates so i'll just stick a few around the place there we go that should be more than enough and then what we're going to need is a nor gate and an AND gate, that should be fine. Hook this into that. Hook um, number six, which is my down button, into the NOR gate, and then number seven into the AND gate. So basically, now when I press seven, it will only activate these outer thrusters if I'm not pressing C, which is basically just a fancy way of saying, if I'm pressing C, the, sh the thrusters will not fire. So when I press R, they fire, and then when I press C, they stop. Now next thing, we're gonna have to do the exact same thing to F. So we're gonna have this be another nor and that also an and, we'll hook this into that. And then we'll take number six again, hook it into there. And then we'll take number five, which is my up button, hook that into there. Now we'll hook that into all of these inner thrusters. So that's why we have two sets. One is to hover, the other is to actually go up. We hit R and it turns on the neutralizer thrust. We hit F and it turns on some extra thrust, so we go up. We hit C, and it turns off the neutralizer thrust, so we go down. Now, next step is to add in the uh, the control for roll and pitch. What we're gonna need is some, some space, first of all. We're gonna do some suspension glitches here, right? We're gonna need four blocks, like that. I'm gonna need another four blocks here. Just stick your bearing there, and your bearing there. Like we'll do one side at a time here. We'll put a pipe piece like that, and then a suspension like that, and then another pipe piece like that. Now make sure that you're on the lift, first of all. And second of all, when you put your pipe piece down, both the bearing and the suspension are lit up. And that way you know that it's not good. Now you just make that to full stiffness. Right, we do the same thing. We're gonna need some controllers, and then we'll just place some down like so that might actually be dumb can i reach that i can it's fine you're gonna hook one up to that and then another up to that so that's gonna be pitched down this is gonna be pitched up it's fine right next you're going to need 
some roll control so let's we're gonna try and make it be a bit central you know because that's it's kind of nice so in order to do that the lift is actually in the way so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to extend this out a little bit but i actually have a uh, little thing that i just sort of take on the side that's why it's always there i just put it on the side and now the lift is out of the way it's a little hack that you can use when you're building and you want the lift to be out of the way what you're gonna do is locate the seat make sure you're not disconnecting anything important there you go that should be good and then we'll go, hey, there we go. We'll go like that and then we'll uh we'll just stick a suspension in like that and then go like that there we go it's fine just because of my ocd i'm gonna do it the other way around so that way we have one that goes one way and one that goes the other way right we'll make these then we'll connect these up to the bearings as well so this is going to be a roll to the left and this one is actually no let's reverse these two this one is going to be roll to the right okay so now we've got roll and we got pitch last one we're going to need is our yaw so um let's actually pile these directly on top of each other in fact you only need one but we're gonna have two just for the sake of symmetry that is now enough now you have yourself all your suspension glitches all you have to do now is to just balance the creation hook everything up and uh, it'll be good to go you're gonna need to set all of these to be around about five degrees and fast okay there we go now we have some controls and they should in theory work number one should be directed to our pitch down which i believe is this one right here so let's go there number two is going to be our pitch up and roll right it's going to be so yeah i think it's i think it's that way around that should in theory work now let's test it so i just use my arrow keys and see okay so those two are reversed all right so um i need to reverse one of them let's just choose a random one to reverse and see if that's the right one it was not the right one so now i'll just reverse all of them there we go right, now we have it all the right way around so my arrow keys will now control my roll properly now i see pitch yep pitch indeed works up for the fact that my pitch down is like that and then this needs to be reversed oh not that one there we go right so now my pitch up works and so does my pitch down so do all my roll control it's all good press r and nothing happens press f still nothing happens that's because these thrusters are set at off which means they basically do nothing so because this is a pretty light build let's just add one like thing one tick for each thruster right so now we press r still nothing happens which is good and if i press f i go up i let go of f i fall to the ground which is not what we want we want to be able to stay in the air so let's make these outer outer thrusters a little bit more powerful now when i press r i'm slightly lifting off the ground when i press f i am staying inside of the air now you can tell i am quite back heavy and i'm sort of hovering reasonably well so instead of increasing the thrust of these back thrusters i can just add a little bit of weight on the front here so let's just do two concrete blocks and see what that does so now let's get into the air and now we're slightly falling now we're falling a lot so at this point we can try adding more thrust on like all of them see how that works so now we're rising and you basically just got to do this little bit of back and forth until you end up with something that is nicely balanced essentially i think i've actually got something good now yeah you can see here we are just about maintaining altitude i don't know if we're sinking yeah so now you have something that goes up as you can see and it also goes down as you can also see i think it's a little bit front heavy but i feel like if i try and correct that it's just gonna make things worse let's just ignore that now how do you go forwards well use your up arrow key to tilt yourself forwards and then you can use f to sort of apply some extra boost in the forwards direction and then the more you tilt the faster you're gonna go right now i have eight thrusters pointing forwards so i'm getting a lot of speed now that we've balanced it it shouldn't really be that big of, a, big of an issue you just take your seat and hook it up to these bearings right and then we just change 
all of their directions and now here's one important thing and why you need a level 5 seat because you need to be able to adjust this so let's make it really fast and obviously we're gonna make it into around five degrees i find this nice it's a nice like balance i like really responsive your you know while some people might like two degrees or three degrees i like five degrees by the way the more degrees you have the more responsive it's gonna be so right now uh, at 27 degrees it's it's gonna be wild <laughs> it, it, it won't be controllable at all it's not gonna be fun to fly that's why we need to lower it by a lot so now we have your which is quite nice um a and d they both work it's good stick some thrusters on like here and then hook them into the seat like so and then give them some power so yeah let's do that so now we're out of the water if i press w you can see you go forwards and it's not actually as bad of a pitch down as i was expecting which is actually quite nice and so i have something that goes forwards which is really nice um so I don't have to worry about, you know, adjusting my tilt every now and then. I just press W and she goes. She goes forwards indeed. But yeah, that is how to build a basic flyer that's nice and stable. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.